Here we are once again with another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. I'm Steve Gimash, and what we have this time is the Yoshimitsu Fugen uh, Shidogami or White Number no. One Guto 210 millimeter knife. So uh, the way these are constructed is it's three layers, and the center hard core cutting steel is Shidogami or White Paper Number no. One Reactive High Carbon Steel at a heat treat approximately 61. And very few things sharpen as easily and take as uh, sharp of an edge uh, as Shidogami number one. It gets screaming sharp, super easy. Maybe not the world's best edge retention, but it's so darn easy to sharpen you really don't mind because they just, the steel, once they get sharp, just so fast, it's awesome. Um, the construction is on either side of that hard core steel, you've got a soft reactive iron cladding, and that cladding does have a blacksmith or kuduuchi protective finish on top of it. And it looks like these might have a little bit of lacquer on. It's pretty common they might coat this in a lacquer, food safe lacquer as well, that will wear off as you use the blade, or you can use acetone to speed the process up if you want to take it off all at once. Um, the weight and dimensions on these are going to vary a little bit from knife to knife. This particular one is 160 grams or 5.6 ounces. The edge length is 217, so it's got a little bit of length to it. Eight and a half inches approximately. Overall length about 350 millimeters. And thickness, these are fairly thick coming out of the spine, but then they thin down pretty nicely. So this one coming out of the handle is about 3.7 millimeters, and then halfway down I measured about 2.5, so it drops quite a bit. And then you can see pretty much holds 2.5, and, and then maybe starts thinning down just a little bit as we get closer. And then the grind isn't super high, but then it thins down, of course, at the tip with that grind. So the tip itself gets pretty thin, but it's a nice, uh, a, you know, a bit of a, kind of a distal taper a little bit down to that so that should help with performance quite a bit the back of the blade you can see it doesn't have a super tall you know grind to it uh, but it does get pretty thin at the edge the blade height is generous 50.8 millimeters on this particular sample and again those will vary that gives you lots and lots and lots of clearance for your fingers the handles nothing fancy just your basic oval Ho wood with a plastic or resin ferrule. These are a sleeve or a collar that fits over this, so you always have a, a raised uh, edge there where the wood meets the plastic. That's completely normal for this style of handle. Uh, 75 millimeters is the circumference here right before it hits the plastic. And um, the handle install is kind of typical. You'll have a little bit of a gap here and there, so you want to kind of fill that with something so you don't get any water or moisture back in there. But... Um, the handles are light, that brings the balance point up a little bit, so there's your balance point on this knife, and for me, you can see my pinch is a little behind that, so that's going to bring the balance point a little more blade forward. Gives you a little sense of, uh, even though it's pretty light, gives you a little sense of mass there to that, because the handle is very light. Uh, let's see, let's look at the beauty shot. There we go. So uh, the Kudauchi finish is fairly smooth on these. You'll see it doesn't have a ton of texture to it. You've got some handcrafted feel going on here, definitely. And there's a little bit of a slight concave here on the, the blade flat. You can kind of feel it coming down from the spine and then back out again before it hits the, the grind here at the shoulder. You can easily see, of course, where that grind is. So it's kind of, you know, shaped like this, and then it comes back down and back down towards the edge. So that will help with food release a little bit. Uh, it's a fairly stiff knife. Uh, it's a very good value. Uh, the grinds seem pretty clean on these. When I sh shoot it down the end and look at the reflection, the grind is, uh, seems quite clean on these. It uh, should have pretty good food release and separation since your uh, grind isn't super tall. So your blade road is fairly short, which means it you know, that forces things out pretty quickly during the cut. Um, Let's see what else. I'd say this edge was maybe 5 out of 10, but that could be the lacquer on it. But boy, will this thing get sharp if you want it to. The, um, the spine has a little bit of relief on it, and so does the choil, so it's pretty comfortable right out of the box. Here's what it looks like on the cutting board. So you'll see it's fairly curvy. There's not really any big flat spots on it or anything like that. Um, you can see the tip is fairly low, so I'm not going to get super high on this. 
I'm getting in there on the tip before I start digging the tip in. You could take that tip and maybe sweep the last couple of millimeters up and you sharpen it if you wanted to kind of give yourself a little more clearance or a little height on the on the rocking if you felt like doing that. But uh, it, it's pretty kind of good, decent all-around profile except if you're a chopper. So just a um, pretty impressively made nice uh, looking knife. And um, let's see, on the left side of the blade, let's, I might as well do a beauty shot that way. On the left side of the blade, you do have some embossed uh, stamped in kanji on there. You can kind of see that. So again, a fairly smooth Kuduchi finish on it. So really interesting knife. So with super easy to sharpen, Shidogami number one. If you're learning to sharpen and you want to feel like a champ, that's a good steel to get. And uh, if you're fighting with stainless steels or especially cheap steels like Chinese steels sometimes, some of the cheaper ones, um, they're hard to sharpen and they get gummy and they just they make you work a lot and you don't get much return for it so if you want to learn to sharpen one way to really boost your confidence is to get a knife in Shidogami number one and uh, you will be amazed how quickly it'll get sharpened it just wants to get sharpened it's just a pleasure to sharpen so anyway tip so this is the Yoshimitsu Fugen Shidogami or white number one Guto 210 millimeter knife